students we are going to learn a very important system today that is the circulatory system in animals the first topic in this is different types of circulation first two we are going to learn is open circulation and closed circulation open circulation is shown by lower invertebrates like cockroach you have all have studied cockroach last year in your 11th standard closed circulation is shown by annelids then higher mollusks and all vertebrates let us understand what are the differentiating points in open and closed circulation in open circulation blood is circulated through body cavities that is hemocoeles seal means a cavity in contrast in closed circulation blood is circulated through blood vessels it doesn't come out of the blood vessels second differentiating point is visceral organs like digestive system respiratory system they lie in this fluid filled or blood filled cavity here the blood does not come in direct contact with the cells and body tissues in open circulation exchange of material is directly between blood and the tissues in closed circulation exchange of material between tissue and blood is mediated by a fluid called as lymph that means from blood the material doesn't directly go to the tissues but there is in between a fluid called as lymph is present here the blood is not enclosed in the vessels so the blood pressure is less here the blood pressure is high no respiratory pigment here the respiratory pigment hemoglobin is present here blood does not transport respiratory gases your blood transports respiratory gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide examples i told you before arthropods and mollusks cockroach is an ideal example then in closed circulatory system the example is higher mollusks annelids and all vertebrates so these are the differentiating points of open and closed circulatory system then the second uh, types are single circulation and double circulation now even in closed circulatory system you can see the two different types of uh, circulatory system in which in single circulation blood is circulated only once through the system and in double circulation blood is circulated twice through the pumping organ or the circulatory system let us understand what are the differentiating point here see they have shown it is a diagrammatic representation in single circulation blood has is passing through the heart only once in double circulation blood is passing through the heart twice deoxygenated blood in single circulation from heart is pumped to the gills for oxygen oxygenation and from gills it is going to go to the body parts and from body parts then deoxygenated blood is going to return to the heart this is a simple circuit from heart to gill for oxygenation from gills to tissues there it becomes deoxygenated from tissues to heart again that is the simple pathway in double circulation blood follows two circuits one is pulmonary circuit and another is systemic circuit now let us understand what that is deoxygenated blood from tissues goes to heart from heart this deoxygenated blood goes to lungs and that it gets oxygenated and it returns to heart via pulmonary veins this is a pulmonary circuit heart to lungs lungs to heart this is a pulmonary circuit now this oxygenated blood goes to body tissues there the tissues utilize oxygen this deoxygenated blood returns to heart this is called as systemic circulation 
systemic means from heart to tissues and tissues to back again to heart so these two pathways are followed in double circulation these are the two different types of circulation that we have to study uh, you have to write the differences in the assignment that i am going to give you along with this video please complete it and post the answers on my whatsapp number thank you